Hey guys, Public here back with another video and today we are talking about Egira the Cruel. This is the second boss that we raid tested um, in the last test um, on heroic difficulty. So today I'm going to talk about just kind of my general thoughts on the boss, how it worked um, from like a Shadow Priest perspective, anything cool to mention, um, and then I'll have the footage in the background, plenty of what we did. So uh, to dive in, again, pretty standard kind of single target boss. Um, at first I kind of picked this as like a just full single target, no Shadow Crash. Um, the problem though is there are like ads that spawn in a sense the where i think shadow crash makes a bit of sense um so throughout throughout phase one i think it only happens once per phase uh she would spear four players in the raid um and basically those four players uh, we, we are able to stack like i think two on top of each other but they kind of venn diagram each other out and a bunch of spears come down and then you would want to break those spears out as soon as possible um, now it is possible if they position correctly, you can actually shadow crash all four of them, even if they don't overlap. Although that's pretty inconsistent. Like it's really dependent on like how quickly they can stack correctly together. Um, so because of that, I think shadow crash just helps you fill in the gaps. Um, otherwise you're stuck kind of manually dotting them. Um, and they do happen like around the time of the fight when you need to redot the boss anyway. So it is kind of like a hectic moment of redotting. So I did like shadow crash for that, even though it is mostly single target outside of that um luckily at least with the current implementation of the tier set we don't actually lose that much damage with shadow crash on single target at least comparatively to what it has been in other tiers like we are still losing a bit it is still costing us two talent points but because of the four set we're getting enough value out of that so i ran the same build on this that i did on like gnarl root for example just a single target plus shadow crash build um so yeah, the fight is kind of, you know, pretty single target burn boss um, again. Um, and then this time the intermission again is a little different. So basically as you go into intermission, the boss does not go immune. So you can kind of full DPS during this phase, but a few members of your group or, you know, I think we tried with the whole group. You basically have to soak these circles on the ground. And then once enough soaks happen, it will then finish the transition. You're basically picking the mechanic that the boss is going to get afterwards. At least on Heroic, we only had to pick one of these for now. Um, we kind of experimented with all three, depending on which one you pick. You get a different mechanic, which is kind of neat. Um, I think they're kind of varying degrees of difficulty. I'm sure they'll tune a little bit. It was a little, also a little hard to see like the, the circles that spawn on the ground during this phase. Um, but what we found was you only need like three or four people to actually do the soak by themselves. So actually, we kind of assign people that have like immunities that can just stand in it and just eat the circles if they want without going anywhere um that seemed to go really well and then the rest of the group is kind of free to hang about tunnel the boss now the trick here is like i said you have all those swirls happening so there's kind of like a chaotic movement thing um we'll see how much this changes on live though but like the biggest tip that i can give the circles have like almost a three second spawn time before, between when the animation shows up and when the damage actually goes off. So what that means is if you get a circle spawn under your feet, you can finish the cast that you are in or even start one and then move after the cast and you'll almost always be safe. Um, it is going to be kind of chaotic, but what that means is you can actually double up a spawn of swirls on you should you get lucky with them hitting you um, and then you're fine. So it's kind of similar to other things like Sarkarath where you can kind of like stack up two swirlies before you have to move. It's similar to that, although you're not always guaranteed to get one under you. So what I did was just finish the cast I was on or started one just and did the one cast and then moved. So I was still able to do the rotation, um, at least if I didn't have any like instant cast or anything else like that. Um, so yeah, and then the boss kind of went back into the other phase and you kind of just rinse and repeat that cycle, um, until you get the boss down. So overall, I thought it was a pretty fun boss. You can kind of see from a tuning perspective, stuff felt a little off. I imagine it'll be harder when it goes to live, but I think it's a cool design where you can kind of pick the mechanics that you want to do. Um, there's different ways of solving them and that kind of thing. We kind of felt like we were able to cheese some of them. Um, but otherwise, it's mostly just a single target boss with those spears that I mentioned before that make Shadow Crash kind of a nicer talent to have in these kind of environments. So overall, I think it's a fun boss. And that is uh, Igira the Cruel. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. And we'll be back with future videos, assuming I get time to do more raid testing. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time.